Drunk Cooking with Scott today. I'm cooking with my youngest, Asher, AKA Pickles. Oh, my little guy. He's gonna cook with dad today. This guy, we're making something today that goes along with uh, the drunk cooking theme. Who drinks a lot of alcohol and eats this next alcohol and eats of alcohol and eats this next thing a lot, you know? College kids. And he eats it every day, and I don't know what he's gonna do when he gets to college. But what we have is ramen. Matches your shirt, huh? He wanted to know. He asked me, Dad, do you know anything to do with ramen other than what I, the way I always eat it, which is just full of water? And I said, yes, yes I do. What are we gonna do? Ramen grilled cheese. Ramen grilled cheese. Open the ramen, put it in the bowl, we're gonna get started. I need a drink. He's gonna do that. He's gonna do that. He's gonna fill it with some water. He's gonna throw it in my boy at three and a half minutes. Microwave for about three and a half minutes, three minutes, 30 seconds. And when that's done, we'll go to phase two. Okay, let's see if this ramen should be ready here. Could be hot, watch out behind me. Watch out behind me. It's a hot bowl of ramen. What we're gonna do? Dump out the water. All the water goes. Okay. All I gotta do now is take an egg. Put an egg in here. Put that in the trash, sir. Thank you. Mix an egg in. You know what? Probably should use a fork. A fork would probably be better. A big fork. All right. Mix it all in the ramen with the egg. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a, a mold with this. So, once you get it blended in real well, the egg's going to be a bonder, bonding agent. Now, I don't have I don't have molds that I need. So, what I like to do is just uh, take half the ramen. Come on, come on, come on. Put one half here, the other one there. Smells really good. Okay, once we get that done, what you want to do is try and flatten it down to do this. Generally, with like a, like a bottle or something, and add a little more over here. Let me show you how to do this here. Okay, what I did, I just grabbed a bottle, a small bottle. It doesn't matter what's in the bottle because I'm not using it as an ingredient. I'm using it as a tool to clean the bottle off, pack it down in there. And then, after you've flattened it all out, compressed it as much as you can. We're just simply going to take these and we're going to put them in the fridge for a half an hour, let them set a little bit. All right, we're back. Hopefully these molds have been set up and uh, we're going to start making some, what are we making? Parmesan. 
<laughs> Ramen grilled Ta cheese. All right, we're gonna take them out of the fridge. Hopefully these things hold up and they don't come apart. Back over here. Let's see. There's what they look like. I don't know. I don't know. I thought that, that tool would work. Back up, buddy. I didn't grease these. Got the heat going on this. Okay, excuse me. Oh, I don't want to do it because I it's it's not real stable. And I don't know if it'll Alright. Alright, now I got these in the pan here. I was gonna grease the pan. I'm really not sure. I haven't made this in a long time. I, I just this pan. I'm gonna put it in the oven. So I think you know. What I think I need to do. I need to learn in life. I leave it. To, I need to leave it the f alone. I need to leave it alone. I just need to let it do its thing for a little bit. I think that's probably the best thing to do. So we're gonna let those singe a little bit on one side and. Uh, when I get impatient, I'll come back, I'll flip them over and send to the other side. Hopefully, they'll stay together. All right, while those are doing their thing though, I got some mozzarella here, crumbled shredded mozzarella. Put some of that in here. And then uh, some sharp cheddar. Spared no expense on the great value cheese. And then uh, it is a great value. You buy 100 pound bags of cheese. We go through these daily. What do you do now? We put the flavoring. The flavoring, Ash's favorite's the chicken flavoring. Make sure you get it all in there, buddy. I'm gonna uh, grab a little fork out of here. All right, throw that in the trash. Come over here with the camera a little bit. We're just gonna mix all the flavoring in with the cheese. Okay, I think, I think I need to address those over there. But that's where we're at. We're gonna come back in a second and Asher's gonna work his, show his cutting skills. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna turn on the oven. I'm gonna set that up. Eh, let's do, bleh, I feel like 375 will do it. Get that thing warming up. Asher, we have uh, some green onions. This is right out of the herb garden outside. I cut these at Lori's garden. So Asher is going to dice up some of these uh, stallions. Go ahead and do your skills. Careful with the knife, buddy. Do it nice and easy. See, I'm not doing it good. Let me try? Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's all right. It's your first time to try. You gotta, you gotta start somewhere. Okay. And they come apart too, like that, so. You got me all, you got me all turned around here. Gotta hold them with the other hand, but you gotta watch your fingers when you do it. What you were trying to do was this, but I do that after I get them all diced up. It's just a pile. Okay, I will save those for later. Let's take a look at this over here and see. Let's get my drink first. All right, where are we at? A little singe on these. Be a nice pot for Lori to clean later. Oh yeah. Okay. What happens here is now we put the cheese on it. Put the cheese on it. The oven's heating up. Whoa, cameraman Sam. All right. Load it up. Load it up and turn off the heat here. I need my 
towel. Give me a towel, will you, son? Thank you very much. Now, we take these bad boys, we throw them in the oven, let this cheese get right. And we wait. All right, we're gonna pull this out of the oven. It's probably been about five minutes. That's what we're working with. Come over here, I got the oven off. You know how we're gonna top this off? You know how we gonna roll? You got here on the West Coast, you're in California, you got Sriracha. I feel like with the best of my family, most of you is in the Midwest. I'm not sure about the East Coast. Probably not, but you can find it. It's there. If not, just use whatever kind of hot sauce you like, but if you get Sriracha, definitely do Sriracha. So, just a little of that on here. Okay, and then. This is going over here. Right here. A little momento. What do you do? Boom. All of it. Just take it, just take some, and just sprinkle it. Make it look pretty. Chef Pickles over here. Yeah. Let the plate a little bit around it. There you go. Now what we're going to do, cut into it. Sometimes, the best thing you do when you're in restaurants there, Asher, you work in a restaurant, you wipe the plate around the edges a bit. Should have done that before we sprinkled. I think I should have cut it first, that's my bad. But, this, folks, let's go with the light here, is ramen grilled cheese. Now, what do we do now, guys? Taste it. We taste it. All right, give me a little piece right here. What have I done? What up? Okay. Pretty fucking good. That's good. I'll get you a piece. That's good. I'll put mine right there. down there if you want. Camera person Sam will probably want a piece. Call Dang Miles shit. down. Miles is upstairs playing video games. I right, good. And camera person. Careful get your hand under it. Whoa! Dropping the camera. Whoop, there she is. That's really good. Alright. Chef Pickles, say thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and like and subscribe. Drunk Cooking with Scott.